It was the eve of Diwali, and the small town of Raniket buzzed with excitement. Every house was adorned with colorful lights, dias flickered on windowsills, and the air was thick with the smell of sweets and gunpowder from early firecrackers. The sky was pitch black, yet illuminated by sporadic bursts of fireworks. Laughter echoed through the streets as families prepared to celebrate the triumph of light over darkness. But in the midst of this joyous celebration, there was one house that remained dark. The old mansion at the edge of the town, abandoned for decades, stood in stark contrast to the festivities. No one dared to go near it, especially on Diwali, when it was believed that the veil between the living and the dead was at its thinnest. The legend whispered through generations was that the mansion was cursed, a curse that had been triggered on a Diwali night many years ago. A group of teenagers, eager to test their courage, decided to visit the mansion that night. Among them was Arav, the son of a local shopkeeper, who was always up for a challenge. Armed with torches and phones, they made their way through the dense trees that surrounded the house. As they approached the mansion, the air grew cold, unnaturally so, and the sounds of celebration from the town seemed to fade away. The front door creaked open with little effort, as though the house had been expecting them. The inside was cloaked in darkness, save for the faint light from their torches. The smell of damp wood and decay filled their noses, but the group pressed on, nervous laughter breaking the silence. As they wandered through the mansion, they found nothing but broken furniture, cobwebs, and dusty remnants of a forgotten past. Until they reached the basement. Arav, leading the group, felt an icy hand brush against his arm as they descended the stairs. His heart raced, but he shook it off as nerves. The basement was completely empty, except for an ancient, cracked mirror leaning against the far wall. The others began to lose interest, but Arav was drawn to the mirror, something about it pulling him closer. Hey, let's go, one of his friends called from behind, but Arav barely heard them. His reflection in the mirror seemed odd, distorted. The longer he stared, the more his reflection seemed to change, his eyes sunk deeper into his skull, his skin paled, and his smile twisted into a sinister grin. Suddenly, the mirror's surface rippled as though it were liquid, and Arav's reflection stepped out, standing directly in front of him. Frozen in fear, Arav couldn't move as the doppelganger whispered, you shouldn't have come here. Before Arav could scream, the reflection grabbed his arm and pulled him into the mirror with a violent jerk. The other teenagers gasped, backing away in horror, but it was too late. Arav's body disappeared into the glass, and the mirror cracked, splitting into hundreds of shards. Panicking, the group ran back to town, their screams drowned out by the sound of fireworks exploding in the sky. When they finally reached the safety of the street, they noticed something chilling, Arav was with them. Or at least, someone who looked like him. But his smile, it was wrong. That night, the town continued to celebrate, unaware that a new, silent horror had joined them. As the dias burned brightly in every house, shadows stretched long, and in the midst of the glowing lights, something dark had awakened. Every Diwali since then, a new child would vanish from the town, never to be seen again. And always, the last place they were seen was near the old mansion, staring into the broken mirror. In Raniket, Diwali was no longer a festival of lights, it had become a festival of fear.